how's it going YouTube? This is Sick Eric back again with another video and today we're going to be doing a comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and the LG G7 Thin Q. Uh, two very similar devices. Uh, they look similar on the rear. They both have similar specs. Um, but they do differ in their own way. So let's go ahead and jump down into it. Um, they both have dual camera systems. On the rear, they are implemented in different ways, though. Um, so let's go ahead and jump down into it. Uh, both devices have the Snapdragon 845 processor. Um, they both have the Adreno 630 GPU. And they both have 64 gigs of internal storage with micro SD card expansion over here on the top on both devices. Uh, they both have dual cameras on the rear and fingerprint sensors on the rear. Uh, they both have volume buttons on the left hand side and dedicated assistant buttons although I prefer the assistant button on the LG rather than on the Samsung. Samsung I just disabled it while on the LG you push it you get Google and I like that implementation better than just disabling the button and having a button there with nothing to do with it. Uh, the display on the S9 Plus is a 6.2 inch Super AMOLED display. Uh, it's got a resolution of 1440 by 2960 and it's got that 18 by 5 9 aspect ratio with 529 pixels per inch. Two very very gorgeous displays. I have no issues with both of them. They're both bright. The LG does get a little bit brighter outdoors. As you can see with this boosted mode, while the Samsung does still get very, very bright. As you can see, very, very bright displays, very beautiful displays. It just prefer, it just depends on you if you prefer AMOLED or LCD. But across the board, this is the best LCD display I've ever seen. LG really, really knocked it out of the park here. Uh, you get better blacks over here on the Samsung uh, as far as um, colors go and very inky dark blacks while on the LG uh, they don't get as black but still really two, two really really excellent displays over here on the LG G7 you get a 6.1 inch uh, IPS LCD display and it's got a 19.5 uh, by 9 aspect ratio with a resolution of 1440 by 3120 and it's got 564 pixels per inch so a little bit more pixels Per inch there. Uh, the display on the LG G7 is a RGBW which means it has that red, green, blue and white pixels which allows it to get brighter and the whites a lot. I, I like the whites better over here on the LG G7. Both devices are running Android 8.0 Oreo. Like I said both of them have the Snapdragon 845 processor and the Adreno 630 GPU. Over here on the LG G7, you have 4 gigabytes of RAM. On the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, you have 6 gigabytes of RAM. Performance on the two devices are very similar. Um, they run about the same. They are both snappy. Uh, they are both equal. It's amazing how LG could keep up with the Samsung at 4 gigabytes of RAM while the Samsung needs 6 just to just to uh, perform like the LG does. It's crazy, but. It is what it is, and they are both very, very fast devices. Um, 64 gigs of internal storage, expandable via micro SD card up here at top. Up to 400 gigabytes on each of the models. You could put a uh, micro SD card up to 400 gigabytes. Cameras on the two devices are uh, very different. They both have dual camera systems. Over here on the S9 Plus, you have a dual 12 dual dual pixel uh, camera setup um, one is a telephoto lens and the other one is a regular lens aperture is adjustable from f1.5 to f2.4 on the main shooter and the second lens like I said is a telephoto lens uh, and they both record in 4k over here on the LG G7 you have a regular camera dual 16 megapixel camera aperture of 1.6 f1.6 and 
f1.9 on the secondary camera is a wide angle camera and it has a 107 degree field of view so you're able to get a little bit more into your picture without having to step back so far and personally I prefer the wide angle over the telephoto lens but you do get better pictures with the S9 Plus they just seem more detailed than the LG G7 not saying that the LG G7 has a horrible camera it's just you get better detailed pictures and low light pictures on the S9 Plus because of that do that variable aperture uh, front facing cameras on the devices are both 8 megapixels uh, like I said both of these do record at 4k you get 60 frames per second over here while on the G7 you only get 30 frames per second although they might up that with a feature software update so it can record up to 60 because it is possible with the Snapdragon 845 so as far as that, uh, you do get super slow-mo over here on the S9 Plus. It shoots at 720p at 930 frames per second. And it does have a uh, two-time zoom on there as well. You get um, digital zoom on the G7. Both excellent cameras. They both have their strong points and they both have their weaknesses. Uh, Front-facing cameras, like I said, they upped it on the G7. It was 5 megapixels on the V30. Now they are both 8 megapixel, and the front-facing cameras perform really well on both devices. As far as battery goes, you get a bigger battery over here on the S9 Plus at 3,500 milliamps, while on the G7 you get a 3,000 milliamp battery. And the crazy thing is they are both similar in battery life. Um, between 8 hours at work, between both the devices of listening to music, for the full eight hours, um, texting, Snapchatting, YouTube videos. Um, by the time I'm done with that eight hours, I'm left with about 50% to 40% on the S9 Plus, and I'm left with about the same on the G7. And it's crazy because it's like 500 milliamps less than the S9 Plus, yet it still keeps up. Uh, like I said, both have fingerprint sensors on the back. Um, the S9 Plus does have... Uh, Facial detection uh, does have iris scanning, uh, fingerprint sensor, pin, and all of that. The G7 does have facial recognition. No iris scanning, but it does have a uh, voice recognition. Hey, G7. So you could unlock it with your phone. While on the S9, it um, does have that iris scanner. Personally, I turn the iris scanner and just use facial recognition. It just works a lot quicker. For me, that is... They both have wireless charging, quick charge 3.0 across both the devices, although the S9 Plus does have fast wireless charging, while the LG G7 does not. Both use the um, USB Type-C at the bottom. Both have Bluetooth 5.0. Um, you do get IP68 water and dust resistance on both the devices. And over here, as far as audio goes, they both have... 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks at the bottom. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus does have stereo speakers up here at the top and it does support Dolby. Um, through the headphone jack and the uh, speakers, you get voice, music, uh, movie, and audio. While over here on the G7, uh, it does support DTX, DTSX, which uh, gives you like a 3D surround sound when you're using headphones. And as far as speakers go, it's, it has a single firing, single firing speaker at the bottom, which they are calling the boombox speaker. And what this does is it uses the internals of the phone as a resonance chamber to amplify the sound. And uh, check out one of my videos that I did before, a speaker comparison between the two devices. is really, really cool. Uh, I really like the audio over here on the G7. Plus, it has that 32-bit quad DAC on board to where um, it's just awesome as far as hi-fi audio goes you plug in a nice pair of headphones and this thing just rocks i prefer the audio over here uh, than the s9 plus it's just a lot better the s9 plus does uh, support 32-bit processing though uh, as far as that goes um both excellent devices uh size wise let's go ahead and do a comparison between the two the s9 plus is definitely a taller disc uh, device and it is a wider device but the screen size on the two devices are almost identical 
with the S9 coming in just a little bit wider but as far as height wise they are pretty much the same you get a smaller footprint over here on the LG G7 which is nice and it is a lot more easier to hold in the hand and have one hand at use although I can go across both devices I just have long fingers but this one's a lot easier to manage in one hand than the S9 Plus as far as size goes uh, the size over here on the S9 Plus is 6.22 uh, inches tall, 2.91 wide, and 0.33 thick, and it weighs about 6.67 ounces. While over here on the LG G7, it's 6.3 tall, 2.83 wide, and 0.31 inches thick. So it's a little bit thinner than the Samsung device, and it weighs 5.71 ounces, and it's uh, a little bit lighter and it does offer a mil STD A10 um, drop resistance on there so it is compliant with that so really really nice you got Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and on the back um, really really nice devices and they are uh, has a aluminum frame going through the middle as well so really really nice devices um, I'm not disappointed with either one. They are both really good. They both have their strong points and their weaknesses. Uh, for instance, on the LG G7, the Wi-Fi signal is just really, really weak. It cuts in and out. Um, even if I'm standing next to the modem, it just constantly cuts in and out. Sometimes if I put my hand uh, around the top right here, as you can see, the Wi-Fi signal just goes down. And sometimes it even cuts out. I don't know if it's just really really sensitive really weak but um yeah the range on this is really really shitty uh, meanwhile the s9 plus it stays constant and doesn't cut out until i actually like go outside or go too far from the modem uh, that's the only gripe i have about the g7 um, is the really really poor wi-fi signal bluetooth i think is uh, really good across the, both the devices uh, headphones sound really really good audio sounds really good through the bluetooth on both of them so other than that guys um, that is my comparison between the two devices S9 Plus and the G7 ThinQ I don't like saying the entire name just G7 uh, two excellent devices S9 Plus is definitely a little bit more expensive than the uh, G7 I don't have exact prices I think the G7 is like 750 uh, somewhere around there uh, this is the T-Mobile variant so it might be a little bit cheaper S9 Plus, I know it's probably gone down in price, so it's probably around 800 uh, around there. So really, really two really, really nice devices. Um, depends on what you prefer. I like audio and the G7 delivers. Um, I like display and cameras, but then the S9 delivers. Um, as far as over here, I do not like that it has a weak Wi-Fi uh, connection. It's always disconnecting from me. It could probably... Uh, be fixed with the software update, but until we get that, who knows when. Um, yeah, it's it's just a really, really annoying feature over here. I do like both the devices. They're both snappy and fast uh, across the board. Displays are beautiful. No complaints. They're build quality. They're two beautiful devices. Very similar, but really, really beautiful devices. So, With that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell. That way you get notified on my future videos. So thank you guys for watching. Peace.